So here's the case. Let's say you have bought some Bitcoin and it's currently on an exchange. You have now read about uh, good practices for storing your, uh, your crypto and uh, decided or already bought a Ledger hardware wallet and you want to move your Bitcoin from the exchange to your hardware wallet. So now you get to adding an account in uh, Ledger Live and even though it, uh, it recommends some, uh, some accounts by default in the beginning, uh, you go to here, add new account and you try to select this show all address types. And you can see four different address types here. So, and you start wondering which one to use. And the answer is, it doesn't really matter that much. The important thing here is that all of these uh, account types are uh, backwards compatible with each other. So let's say you make a native SegWit uh, account and want to transfer your Bitcoin to a legacy account. You can do that. You can move from SegWit to native SegWit, from uh, Taproot to whatever account. It works in all directions on the, on the network level. Your exchange also uses one of these uh, four account types internally to manage and hold your crypto. And the important thing here is that uh, whichever account uh, type you create in Ledger Live, uh, your funds are safe. So when you, when you send them from your exchange to your, let's say you have a native SegWit account, you have a Taproot account, SegWit legacy, it doesn't matter. Your funds are safe and they will arrive in your in whatever account you created here in Ledger Live. And this also is vice versa. So let's say you want to send, you have already created, a, let's say, some account and you want, now want to withdraw your Bitcoin from Ledger Live and send it back to your exchange. It works in all directions because all account types are compatible with each other. Uh, my second answer is that just use the default one, which for Ledger Live is uh, native SegWit. It's the most suitable for regular uh, transactions. So let's say you are, um, are um, your total cost average into Bitcoin. Let's say you buy a bit uh, every, every week, every month, and you then want to send it to send it and hold in cold storage. For this type of uh, smaller transaction, native SegWit is the most widely used and it has the cheapest transaction fees. The fees between the different account types aren't that, uh, that much difference, but over a longer run, it's, it's, just, it's just a good idea just to use the default one, which is the native SegWit. So, if you want to know more about these different account types and uh, the different scenarios, let's say moving between uh, different account types, moving your Bitcoin to an exchange or from an exchange. If you want a further, let's say wider explanation, I will leave a link uh, in, the, in the video description to an article that, where I discuss all of this in greater detail. So if you're interested, to find out more, make sure to check it out. And thanks for watching and goodbye.